Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you the Click Library. The Click Library is a Python package for creating command line interfaces in a really easy way. Let's jump over to PyCharm to get started. Inside of PyCharm I created a new project with a simple hello function that prints hello. And before we install the Click package we need to activate our virtual environment. And for this first type virtual environment to create a new virtual environment. And to activate it, type dot venf bin activate. Next we can install the click package by typing pip install click. And then you can import it in your project like this. Import click. We are now able to change our function into a click command by using the decorator click.command. Now to run your file you can type python main.py and it prints hello. In the next step we want to hand over an argument to our command so we print our statement a certain number of times. We add another decorator with add click dot option and then dash dash count. This count parameter we hand over here and then we create a for loop within the range of count. Also we have to add a default value which we set to 1. That means if we don't hand over a count argument, it will be printed one time. Let's now go to our terminal and run the code with python main.py dash dash count three. And here you see we print hello three times. You are also able to define help messages for each command. So to see the help message, type python main.py then the name of the command which is hello in our case and then dash dash help. Here you can see the option that we defined, our count option which has the data type integer. We didn't define a help message yet which would be shown here but when we write help equals and then for example number of greetings and then run it again then you can see that we have the help message written here. Let's now simply add an argument without it being an option. Write at click.argument and then name and here we add name and here we add this name like that. Name and then let's run it again. And now we just write a name, say Tim, and then it says hello Tim. Next we want to create a click group so that we are able to not only have one function as a command but multiple functions. First we define a click group with add click.group and this contains the function CLE, which for now will do nothing. Now we are defining the functions which we want to be contained in this group. Let's say at click.command and define create database and then simply we print simply print created database and let's create a second function which will be delete database and to add these two commands to our click group we will write cle dot add command create database 
and CLE dot add command delete database. And finally, we have to change our main function here because it needs to call the group function CLE, which we defined here at the top. Oh, and let's also add the hello function. Add command hello. And we need to put it below the code so it finds all the functions. So now let's run our code again, but first see the help menu. And then you can see that we now created three commands which we can call create database, delete database and hello. And now to choose between them, you simply write python main.py and then the name of the function you want to call. Here we call the created database and let's also call the hello command. Hello. Max. And then it's prints hello max. If you want to learn more about Click, feel free to check out the very detailed and awesome documentation, which I will link in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, I'm happy about a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!